Three Albuquerque elementary schools were so bad when it came to student performance, the state threatened to shut them down. APS responded by adding more time in the classroom, and today News 13's Rachel Knapp found out if that extra time worked. Rachel is live tonight at APS headquarters with that update. Rachel. Dean, for those three schools, the district ex uh, decided to extend the school hours as well as start school early just to give those students an extra edge. So far, it looks like it's paying off. Class has been back in session for a few weeks now, and students like this Whittier Elementary third grader are already hard at work. A math journal is like a binder where she would tell us to write a certain sentence and how to put it in tests and stuff. Xavier School is one of three Albuquerque public schools the state said needed more rigorous intervention. And I know at one time we were failing as a school. For years, Whittier, Hawthorne, and Los Padillas struggled to get their school grades up and getting students to be proficient in math and reading. To do just that, these three schools started classes early last year and had students in class longer in hopes of making the grade. And the results look like they're paying off. Comparing 2017 to 2018, Hawthorne's reading levels went up by 3% and math went up by 4%. At Whittier, APS says more students have become proficient in every subject, climbing from just 3% proficient in math to 8%. At Los Padillas, reading proficiency went up 6%, but math made the biggest jump of all, from 9% to now 21% proficient. That's actually pretty good because not a lot of kids do good at math. And while APS did not go on camera to talk about the numbers, parents we spoke to say it's a huge win for these schools. They said that their kids, their levels have gone up high and they're doing tremendous with the, you know, the staff here and the principal and everything. Although those three schools did see an increase, sadly, Whittier Elementary still got an F for their 2018 school grade, but Hawthorne and Los Padillas bumped up to a C, which is a first for those schools in a very long time. Back to you. All right, Rachel, thank you. The school board will hear about these stats at the school board meeting tomorrow, and we'll discuss what comes next.